Rutgers is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bruins have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Quick pass out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 35. He's on the run. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. Third down. throws this one away and they're going to have to bring on the punt team on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the second half. he takes it at the 14 tackle made at the 21 so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field to the 40. Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. made the 49-yard line. That makes it seven and six. He gets rid of this one. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Well, it depends on where they spot it, but it looks like he was stopped short. I think so, Brad. And the defense was bending on that play a little too much, but they didn't break. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gutty play here to go for it by the offense. But they showed why the coaches have faith in him. That was a real nice run. From the 39-yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Mike 35, Mike 35. Black five, black five. Green nine. Let's go. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Get to that quickly. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Inside handoff. Nice run there. That makes it third and three. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. First down. down. Check, check. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Call it a game of 24 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Check, check. He's scrambling, and they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 32. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. He's going to try and scramble. He takes off. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes the set to go. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it first and goal. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Hey, set. Brew is 14. Tackle at the five. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Brings up a second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Touchdown, Bruins. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 7-3. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Down, down. Go. The ball 
is loose. The defense has it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Now, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. They'll bring him down at the 30. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Bruins lead it by four. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. UCLA is up four. They'll work the left side. Back old after decent pickup. Gain of four. First down. Four down, four down. Max 22, Max 22. Hey, hey, Oklahoma. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Hey, watch 28. Set it. Lions. 10, 19. Motion, 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 motion. Throws in the middle. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 10-3, UCLA. They line up to kick this one away. And they can forget about returning this one. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green nine. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. So the defense does their job well on that series. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 26. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. UCLA is up seven. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Balls it in as he's 
pushed out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. Third down again. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes, that makes it fourth and 12. 12. UCLA is up a score. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting the all cylinders. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Green nine, green nine. And two more. Two more. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And he's leveled at the 32-yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's on the run. He's at the 20. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From the 18-yard line, first down, UCLA up seven points. Nice run to the left there. Call it a game of five yards. That brings us second down. Watch 22, watch 22. Hey, hey, hey. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up and go out there and get some more points on the board. Great concentration to haul it in. And he's tackled right away. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. The Scarlet Knights are going to call their second timeout. He wants it all. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's taken down at the 48. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. will use their final timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up, and he splits the uprights. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. UCLA's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. The handbag picks up a yard. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 10, two. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That makes it third and 11. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. UCLA is up by a touchdown. A little toss across the middle. Tackle at the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Got 
Gets him open field. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. First down. Back 22, back 22. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they got him for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. And he can't get away from the pressure. Now oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday in the mountain. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 35. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Three down, three down. Second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Black, go. Gets him open field. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 31. That makes it first and 10. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. First and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Red two. Yellow three. Red three. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. A five-yard quarterback scramble. That brings him second and five. defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And this play is number eight on the drive. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Black five, black. And the end zone touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? A 
to review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the referee signals for a touchdown again. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's tackled at the 24. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. Bring him down at the 28. Gain of four on the play. That makes it 37. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Pressure and run down. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 41. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. 35 to Mike. Hit. Black five, black five. Hit. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 89 was his intended receiver on the play. Third down. Two yard line. It's just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire them up. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with a score all knotted up. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all important fourth quarter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football. No doubt about it. The defenses have been dominating on both sides of the ball, but one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. And they'll run him again. And down he goes at the 36. And he's hit immediately. That reception good for seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 45. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, 
Big opening. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike, check, check. Lion, Lion. Slings it. Tackle made at the 35 yard line. Number 22 brings him down from the 35 yard line. From the 35 yard line. First down. Down. Blue 14. Hey. It's the tailback. Runs outside for a nice game. He fights forward to about the 29. With the pass incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he got it! UCLA, the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Green nine, green nine. X seven. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. For Rutgers, they're really getting after the quarterback tonight. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. This defense has got to keep the pressure on. They don't want to allow another score. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They come out on an empty backfield. Mike 22, he's coming. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. Taken down at the 41 yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that. 
that run. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run, heading for the corner. And they finally push him out at the nine. That's a game 27 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Oklahoma! Touchdown, UCLA!
The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. Guns it left side. Tackle at the 34. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. Fires quick, he catches another. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. the return team to cover the onside kick, but also by the kicking team to get themselves in that position in the first place. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Five yards there for the quarterback. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 38. it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of your blocks. Third and nine. Oklahoma! Watch the run! First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. That makes it first and ten. The Bruins coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.